Hey everybody, just wanted to let you know uh, this is future Josh uh, with bad hair. A little bit greasy, I need to shower here in the truck. That's not the point of this. I just want to let you know that uh, today's vlog is a little bit shorter. It's a Saturday vlog, I didn't film much. Me and Britt went out on a date night, took you along a little bit, but this vlog isn't really a full vlog, so if you're new to the channel, don't judge my whole channel based on this vlog. Sometimes I take it a little more easy on the weekends like this, but uh, check out my other videos that I've done in the past. There's over 2,000 of them on the internet now. I've been doing this for about six years. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow we're hitting the road towards Alberta. Chevy, you want to start the vlog again? You want to start the vlog again, man? You always do such a good job. I want to start it too. Oh, Diesel, how about you start it with us? Everybody. All right, Chef. How you been doing? Did you miss me while I was gone? I was working hard this week, I know. Hey, Diesel. Hey, buddy. You gonna come to Alberta with me? Later, or maybe tomorrow? Either later tonight or tomorrow, I've gotta leave on a trip going to Alberta. With Tasquin, Alberta, actually. I gotta deliver that oversized load. And I gotta, I'd like to be there for Monday morning. They're expecting me there before noon. But the sooner I get there, the sooner I get unloaded, the sooner I get reloaded, the sooner I get back home. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Britt's at work right now, so I'm at home trying to get some videos done. I gotta snow blow the driveway. That's pretty much gonna take up the whole day. <laughs> There's my day, right there. Snow blowing. You guys gonna help me snow blow? Frankie? Frankie, you gonna help me snow blow? No? Maybe a little bit? So the day passed by real quick. We got the, the driveway all snow blowed out there. All cleared out real good. The wife's home. We're about to go out for date night. Saturday night date night. Woo! Yeah, you excited? I sure as heck am. I want to tell the vlog something. <clears throat> I have my wife's permission to grow up my beard, don't I? Heck yeah, you do. She actually thought of it. She told me to. Absolutely. She wants the beard. We were at my work Christmas party the other night and one of the husbands had a glorious beard and I told Josh I missed his. So you see this right now? Get a good look at it because it's not going to be this short again for a long time. At least not for a little while. Yeah. How long How long can I grow it? Can I grow like, you know, like trucker beard, like Duck Dynasty beard? Not Duck Dynasty, then it gets scraggly. Trucker beard, as long as you keep it neat. What if I take good care of it with them? Nice beard oils. We'll see. Anyways, the beard's coming back. Be Just prepared for the daily combing, guys. Be prepared, yep. But now that I'm home more often, I can take better care of it. Because last time, when I grew it out when I was on the road for three weeks at a time, it was so hard to maintain it when I was on the road. Because it gets so greasy, and you'd have yeah. to shower literally. Once a week, <laughs> sometimes. Every day. You'd have to shower every day. It was too much for me. No, but seriously, you had to wash the beard every day, even if you didn't have time for a shower or if you didn't on the road. That's just how it is. Okay, don't judge me. Especially in Canada. Yeah, and there's the no showers in Canada. Bad. And it gets so greasy, it gets thick, and then it starts hurting. So now that I'm home more often, I can take better care of it, put some good beard oils on it. I'm excited. Shape it nicely. It's, it's going to look pretty good. You're going to have a very beardly man. I'm cool with it. She's getting ready right now for our date night. I can't show her. I'm makeupless, guys. I can see her though. I'm her My husband. My hair is a mess. Huh, benefits of being a husband. But you get to see me without makeup on and my hair yeah. all straight. She's dressed. Don't worry. She's dressed. She's just. I am. It's true. You can show my outfit. Yeah? Can I show your outfit? You can. Okay. She's I got her sweet on. legs on. I tried putting on other leggings. I couldn't do it. She just doesn't have her makeup on yet, so. Frankie. How's it going, man? Got the Jets game going on here, but we're not paying attention to that because we're on a date. Mm -hmm. We got our dessert already. We had some wings. What do you got here? Cookies and cream cheesecake. Oh my. Mm -hmm. I've got the apple crisp with ice cream. Oh, we're at Smitty's here in Steinbeck. We didn't expect this dessert to be so big. I didn't either. This is huge. I did not expect it to be this big. But the thing I like about this lounge though is there's TVs everywhere. There's one there, one there, one there, one there. It's all over the place. It's kind of disappointing though because, oh, come on. Minnesota just scored again. 
Four to one, and we're in the third period with six and a half minutes left. What did you say? We are Jets fans. You might be. We have to be. They're from Winnipeg. We don't have a choice. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Here you go. Look at this. Oh, 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 oh. You suck, you suck, you suck. Oh. They scored. Four to one, Minnesota. I'm not very Canadian. I don't care about hockey. How can you sit here with a hockey game right there and just act so calm? I guess I'm American at heart. I mean, well, I mean, I'm watching that one, but you have a, a big TV right there. 